Here's some. Are you guys season ticket holders? Of course. Oh, my season ticket holders here. We're all gang together. All right. I'm another season ticket holder. <laughs> we didn't get our name wrong, but somehow.
This is our day. Pittsburgh is a great city with a great past. Seattle is about the future. And the future starts on Sunday. had some great champions, and we want to honor them here today, and we've got a few of them with us. The University of Washington women's volleyball team, 2005, NCAA champion. The Seattle Storm basketball team, WBNBA champion, 2004. The Seattle Supersonics champions, 1979 NBA. Husky football team, 1991 NCAA champion. The Seattle Mariners, 1995, run for the pennant. And every one of us here remembers the 1917 Seattle Metropolitans, the first United States team to win the Stanley Cup. Cup. Thank you. Dave's in our corner today. Now it's time to show the city of Pittsburgh what Blue Thunder means. Executive Ron Sims. Sims. They, they need, need to hear you in Detroit. Detroit. This, this side says go. go. This, this side, side is hot. hot. Go. 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 That's not that long ago. ago. But for a lot of us, it's a long, long time. We want to honor a couple of the folks who were here the last time that we won a playoff game and went to the then AFC Championship. Norm Johnson and Shelton Robinson. Norm won number nine. He was a Pro Bowl kicker. And he closed, he uh, had a club record 110 points at that time to get us into the uh, postseason and get us into that championship game. Norm? How's everybody doing today? I was fortunate to 
fortunate to play in the early years of the 12th man, the Thunderdome. I know a lot of you were there. I know we had some odd years, but I'm so glad to see that 12th man spirit be rekindled now. I played in Pittsburgh, but I am 100% behind the Hawks this week. I want to say something. Pittsburgh may outnumber us in fans, but nobody has the heart and soul that a Hawks fan has. This Sunday, we're going to put Seattle, we're going to put the Great Northwest, the Seahawks, and our 12th man on the map. Go Hawks! We're going to tell Texas, don't mess with Seattle. Number 57, Shelton Robinson led that 1984 team with 93 tackles. I get a chance to work with him every day. For the last 14 years, he's been a member of the Seattle Police Department. Give it up for Shelton Robinson. Anybody remember 1978, 1979? It was a pretty special time. This, this area didn't even exist back then. There was a monorail station right over there. But in front of the Olympic Hotel, we had a little party in 1979 to congratulate the Seattle Supersonics for winning the NBA championship. We've got a couple of folks here representing the Supersonics. The coach of that team, Lenny Wilkins.
He was an all-star in 1976 and was captain of the Sonics in the 78 and 79 championship years. Slick Watt was drafted by the Sonics in 1973. He led the NBA in assists. He had a unique style of play that was great, great fun to watch. He led the league in assists per game, steals, steals per game, and he was an NBA all-defensive player in 1976. I give you a coach, Lenny Wilkins. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Welcome, Welcome to Seattle. Seattle. Our email. 1979 was an incredible, magical year for us. And it all began in 1978 when we made our turn. We went from a team that was 5 and 17, a team that everybody in the NBA wrote off, to get to the championship round. And when, and when we got, got there, there, we knew, knew that, that we, we were coming, coming back, back the next year to take, to take it, it all. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been possible without the support of all of you Seattleites, all of you, Seattle lights, all all of you people in the Northwest. Northwest. Your, Your support is just, is just incredible. incredible. I mean, I mean, even, even the, the guys, guys today from the Sonics, from the Sonics that, that walk around, around the, guys the guys from the Seahawks, the Mariners, the Storm, the, Storm, the Huskies. The Huskies. I, mean, I mean, we are proud, proud to say, to say that, that Seattle, Seattle is our home. And it's, and it's because, because of you. you. <laughs> guys, guys that, that made my life easier were people like Slick Watts and Fred, Fred Brown. Brown. They're, They're treasures. treasures, so I would say, say to you, enjoy, enjoy them. them. Enjoy, enjoy them. them. They, they are. They're They're treasures, treasures of Seattle. Seattle. We, we love, love Seattle. Seattle. We, we love, love you. you. Support, Support the Seahawks. The Seahawks. Go, Go Seahawks. Seahawks. Thank you, Coach. A lot of us were, we're here, here a little over a year, year ago to celebrate the 2004, 2004 WNBA championship, Seattle Storm. It was, it was the first, first championship, championship we had at uh, the professional level since 1979. Karen, Karen Bryant, Bryant is here today. She's the chief, the chief operating, operating officer of the Storm, of the storm. And, and frankly, she's the heart, the heart and, spirit and spirit of the Seattle, of the Seattle Storm. storm. Karen? Hey, thank you, Mayor Nichols. Thank you for inviting me to be here today to represent the Storm. I'm so proud to stand up here and represent women's sports. October 2004, and I stood at this very podium with a microphone in my hand in a sea of thousands and thousands of people hoisting the 2004 WNBA championship trophy. As, as, a, as a long time Seattle native, as a, as a teenager, I remember, I remember the ticker tape parade of the 79 Sonics championship. As an adult, I've had the privilege of understanding what a championship means to a city, to its players, to its fans, and to a community. It's such an exciting time, and nobody deserves this opportunity better than the city of Seattle. And thank you for all your support over the last seven years of the WNBA and the Seattle Storm. We're so proud to be the city's most recent champion, and all of us look forward to celebrating our city's newest champion. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. All right. In addition, In addition to the, to the great, great professional, professional sports, sports that we enjoy, enjoy Seattle, Seattle is lucky. lucky. We've, We've got, got the finest university in America in the heart of our city, city the, the University, university of, Washington. of Washington. In three years, Coach Lorenzo Romo has elevated, has elevated Washington, Washington to the elite level, level of the NCAA. NCAA. He took us to the tournament in 2004 and 2005, which is the fourth time in Husky history that we've made consecutive NCAA appearances. Help me welcome Coach Lorenzo Romar of the Washington Huskies. Thank you.
about our city. This morning, this morning, Mayor O'Connor and I were on MSNBC, and he held up a Starbucks cup, thinking that he's going to win some Starbucks on Sunday. I want you to know, we're going to need Heinz ketchup next week. You know, we have a lot of fun with this, and that's important. It's a great way for us to come together as a community. One of the things we're going to do when we win is we're going to make sure that the proceeds, the food that is uh, given to us by Pittsburgh, and the food that's been donated for our vet goes to Northwest Harvest. And I want to ask each of you... To help celebrate the spirit of Seattle by yelling on the Seahawks and by giving to the people who are less fortunate in our community. That's the way we build a great community. So when you head off to that party, buy an extra item or two and make sure that it gets in the right place. All right. Also, we, we've got some orange here today. we got some yellow here, but we also got We've, We've got, got some, some red, red here, here today, today, and, and I, I want to acknowledge that today is National Wear Red, red day. day. It's the American Heart Association bringing attention to the fact that heart disease is affecting women in our community, and we need to take action. And I want you to ask you to, uh, if you get a chance to go over to Macy's, they've got some information. They've got an opportunity to help us learn a little bit about heart disease and how it affects women in our community. So thank you to the Heart Association. And I'm going to ask our county executive to come up one more time and lead us in a Go Seahawks uh, cheer. And then we're going to hear a song, a song that they're hearing in Detroit a lot, uh, that uh, a local artist produced.